hit the beach. We've got some onion rings, we've got an Italian beef sandwich. And then over here, chili cheese dog. That looks yummy. That actually looks the best to me of all of this. <laughs> Crinkle cut fries, which are like my favorite. We got a root beer to drink because draft root beer is life. So good. And then this is a cake shake that we've meet well, John's never had before, and I haven't had in decades, so that's exciting. you could tell in the little clips that we did do inside copywritten music blasting loud so we're now in the vehicle to give you our review yeah plus we're gonna try the cake shake I haven't even tried it yet that's right so why don't you do that first then we'll talk about what we thought of everything prices etc okay so if you're not familiar a cake shake is basically a shake with a slice of cake in the shake Right. Yeah. So they have chocolate, they have lemon, and then they have a lemon strawberry or a strawberry and lemon, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And the lemon one was really go ahead. The lemon one was really calling my name. It's a flavor for the summer, but the chocolate is classic. My goodness. <laughs> Should you see if your wife wants some? Mm. <laughs> she does. That's the answer. So, little bits of cake in there because it's all mixed up. Ooh, it's so rich. It's super -de duper chocolatey. Yes, very chocolatey. I think it would probably take me, I don't know, a couple of different sessions to finish this shake because. She be rich. She be thick. She and there's be... nothing really to show you. It just looks like a chocolate shake. Um, so, I didn't look at calories, and I'm probably glad that I didn't, because a piece of a piece of cake blended up into ice cream, that's got to be, I mean, it's probably, let's, maybe, here, let's all play a game. Let's guess, and then I will put in the comments how many calories in the future, like tomorrow or something. Yeah. What is your guess? 1,100. <laughs> Did you look? No. Mm. No, I have no idea. But, I mean, with a slice of cake and a shake, I mean, my guess I think is, it could be 1,100. My guess is 1,300. Whoa, all right. You let I, us I'm know. I'm surprised you didn't say 1,101. Yeah, 1,101. <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant. Um, I like the texture I don't love the texture because mm -hmm. you do get the little pieces of cake. You've had this before, right? If you've ever gone to a birthday party or whatever where you've had a slice of cake and next to the ice cream, the ice cream starts to melt. Yep. What meets in the middle is this. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's yummy, but I feel like I'd rather have decadent chocolate cake over here and chocolate shake over here, but it's great together too. Very good, very rich. Like I said, it would take me a while to get through this. Can't thing. you imagine that in lemon? <clears throat> yeah. 
We should have got it in lemon. We should have. We should have got it in lemon. All right, let's rate this. No, we got to go back. Let's rate this. Okay. Um, This was not my favorite thing we had today. I'll tell you what my favorite thing was in a minute. But um, I think this was maybe like second. It was decent. I would get it again, and I would try the other flavor. I'm going to give it a nine. Mm. No, 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 no. I'm going to give it an eight and a half. I think that's... Yeah, I think eight, eight is probably good for me. Okay. Yeah. That being said, another thing is, we are not those people. Let us know if you're those people. that go. My parents were these people. They would go to dinner, and as soon as they were done with dinner, they would be like, okay, what's for dessert? <laughs> and I am not that person. I like to go out and get a dessert and bring it home where I can sit and enjoy it. I don't like to force myself to eat dessert when I'm already full, yeah. which is the state of my union right now. <laughs> right? All right. Yeah. I'm pretty full. Um, as far as the meal goes, well, let, before we talk about the meal, let's talk about the place. I like the way that Portillo's looks. Yeah, it's I like how cool. it's set up. There's a ton of seating. A ton of seating. Uh, it's a walk-up order type situation, so the menu's up there. I tried to get a clip of it, but it wouldn't focus in really good, and the woman was waiting on me, so <laughs> sorry about that. Um, but um, what I didn't like was, and I don't know if it was this, this particular worker or if this is the way they do things, but she didn't ask me any questions. So, like, for the Italian beef, you can get the Italian beef with sweet peppers, hot peppers, you can get cheese on it, you can get it uh, dipped, dipped or dry or dry or extra gravy mm -hmm. and none of those questions were asked <laughs> and yeah. I ordered the combination meal for that one which was a drink, a fry and uh, the sandwich and she didn't ring that up, she just said okay an Italian beef and put that in and I had to ask like okay so does that come with fries and the drink like the combo and she's like oh thank you for correcting me and mm -hmm. So, you know, it could have been her, but when when I sat down with Laura, I was like, oh, we were going to get it dipped, but nobody ever said anything or asked me, and I forgot to say anything. Anyways, so that's not really bad. You know, it's not bad service, I don't think. But. Yeah. But especially, you're probably feeling it more because this was your first time at this right. restaurant. So, right, right. Yeah. Anyway, so the place is nice. It, it does have that 50s vibe you know like 50s diner vibe um we love chicago and we go there frequently and i love how there's all the different like street signs of some of the famous places in chicago mm -hmm. and a lot of the pictures there's a really cool picture of like um the white socks and i i don't know it we really enjoyed like looking around while we were sitting there yeah lots of stuff to look at okay let's get to it so it's a food yeah, Italian beef. Yeah. What did you think? I was disappointed. I thought it was all right. It, I'm glad that I'm glad that we didn't get it dipped though. So it was plenty wet. Yeah. Whatever they did did to it, it was plenty wet to the point where the bread was like um, soggy when we got it. Uh, the flavor of the beef was good. It was shaved really fine, which I like. Um, I do wish it had cheese or onions. Mm. It was just meat bun. And their peppers that they do, which I don't get down with green peppers at all, at all. I don't dislike them. They just always give me heartburn. So I just skip when I can. I'm going to rate that that we had today. And I've had them before, and I feel like I liked them better before with cheese. Mm. Um, I feel like that is maybe... The sandwich we just had is like a six to me. Six okay. and a half, maybe. I'll give it a seven. I liked it all right. The flavor was great. Um, I, I like the peppers on it. Uh, I, you know, I'm glad I didn't get a dip because the part that Laura was talking about that was kind of wet already was mush and mm -hmm. I didn't, didn't like that part, but the rest of the bread was delicious. Okay. Okay. So the big beef, uh, the Italian beef sandwich with the fries and the drink, the combination was nine fifty nine. which I have to tell you, that was a big beef sandwich. We split it. Mm -hmm. You never ate the rest of mine, right? Nope. So probably two thirds of the sandwich got eaten, and I'm stuffed, stuffed. Yeah, I'm so, full. I'm full. So the price I think was decent for what it was. Just get it how you want it, and then you'll enjoy it more. 
uh, let's talk about that drink and those fries that came with it. <laughs> that root beer. There is something about draft root beer that hits differently. If you know, you know. Like, I, I don't care about A&W, their food, at all at all. But I would stop there just to get a draft root beer. It was so good. Yeah, that root beer was good. The fries were good. They were yeah. hot. They yeah. were fresh. Uh, you know, crinkle fries, but they were done well. Yeah, the, the temperature was perfect, lightly salted. They were very hot and fresh. They hadn't been sitting. I'm going to give those fries a nine. I kept saying how much I enjoyed them. <laughs> yeah, they were um, good. And that root beer was a ten. <laughs> it's I, good root beer. John will tell you, if we go to a restaurant, very often I will get a drink and I'll take a few sips and it will be most of the way full when we leave there. I am a drink waster when we go to a place. <laughs> Frequently. Um, I I could have had three of those root beers. Yeah. Uh, what about the chili dog? The chili dog, chili dog was another thing I really enjoyed. It's on like one of those speckly buns. Yeah, the like poppy seed bun. Poppy seed bun. And uh, the chili was decent. It's probably canned, but it, it was decent. Um, nice, crispy, not crispy, but like um, fresh diced onion on the top. So it had a little bite. It was good. Yeah. I really, I mean, I know it's just a chili dog, but something about it hit differently for me too. It was a yeah. good hot dog. And the dog itself was really good. And Portillo's is known for their dogs. That's one of the things they're known for. I would never go into a restaurant and order a hot dog ordinarily. But yeah. I'm glad that we got one from there. It was really good. I'm going to give the hot dog an eight. And it, no, I'm going to give it an eight and a half. I did like it. I would get it again. Mm, I'll probably give it, I don't know, an eight. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Um, in the hot, the chili dog was $4.99. $4.99. I'm going to give it a seven. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot of money it's for a, a money. hot dog, people. And a single hot dog. Like, I don't mind if it's a foot long. Yeah. And then it's enough for a whole meal. But it was just a regular chili dog that you would have to get fries or something else. And it's it's $5. That seems pricey. Pricey. Yeah. Okay. And then last, we got onion rings. Laura wasn't happy with the onion rings. No. I, you know, I've I've had better onion rings. Um, it seemed like they were over, big big time over. Yeah, they were over, and then it was. Um, I think they used like panko breadcrumbs with it as well. Um, I don't know. I like the batter, fried onion rings better. I do too. I'm but gonna give those onion are. rings. They they were so crunchy. And here's what I don't like. I'm not trying to be picky but we are doing a food review so I'm saying what I think what I what I feel um the problem with onion rings when they're over like that is you don't get onion any onion it's all the breading and crunch yeah and, and yeah. fry like yeah. it just tastes like fried anything and so I I didn't like those onions mm. onion rings at, at all um I love onion rings though too give me a good onion ring any day um those were like a four for me. They were edible, but they were not good. I'll give them a six. They were all right. Um, but I agree with, you know, what Laura said about, you know, the crunch and everything. Uh, the onion rings were $3.69. That seems pricey for what they were. If they would have been good, though, it was it was a decent portion. But anyway, so overall, like $30 for a meal. I'm glad that we went. What did yeah. you think of your first time? Do you think you would want to go there again? Um, you know, we've heard a lot of people, you know, raving about Portillo's. I would go there again, but I don't know that I would be like, I have to go to Portillo's, you know? Yeah. I feel like it's been 10 years at least since I've had it, and I forgot um, exactly what I felt, but of course the cake shake is the thing that I remember, yeah, and shake. the cake shake was on point. So I would go back for a cake shake. I and yeah, try the lemon. Yeah, for real. So I wouldn't be in a hurry to go back and eat. If you wanted to, I could, but it's got to be, it's got to be a. While. I mean, we're not eating like this all the time anyway. Right, so right. Come to the comments and let us know if you have had Portillos before, and maybe what your favorite thing is to get from there. Maybe we'll give it a try in a yeah. video. You never know because we need to go back for that lemon cake shake. For sure. Either way. Um, and 
when you're in the comment section, did you know that we always pin a comment and we have our playlists there, a couple of them. We will link our other channels there, our socials, our address, all that stuff is in a pin comment. Uh, now, if you love Portillo's or Chicago or us, or the video, give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps our channel grow when you do that. That's all we have for today. That's it, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.